horrifying moment. Ukrainian forces destroy 32 artillery, 32 APVs and 100 Russian soldiers in one day. Russia is increasingly relying on large infantry assault tactics in Ukraine, possibly due to widespread equipment losses and a lack of trained personnel, according to the think tank the Institute for the Study of War (ISW). Russia's military-focused bloggers are divided on whether this strategy will lead to success, the think tank said. One mill blogger claimed that Russia's military was about to experience a real renaissance of infantry combat, as there were fewer infantry fighting vehicles, tanks, and armored personnel carriers near the front line. However, another mill blogger responded that Russia's reliance on these assault tactics reflected the heavy losses of Russian equipment and poor coordination on the front lines. In just a few weeks of fighting in the east of Ukraine, Russian forces lost as many vehicles as Ukraine did over months of brutal fighting in the south. Earlier this month, Russian forces also began advancing on foot in the heavily contested eastern city of Avdivka, following major vehicle losses, UK intelligence said. Another mill blogger said that Russia's tactical assaults on Ukrainian strongholds in forest areas of Donbas in eastern Ukraine would likely not lead to a wider breakthrough on the front line adding that Russia would also struggle to train a sufficient number of troops to carry out the assaults required to make significant advances. A telegram channel linked to Russia's Spetsnaz special forces also complained that some of its troops were being incorrectly used to conduct such assaults, leading to high attrition rates, the ISW said. Spetsnaz forces are typically tasked with stealthy and high-risk missions, including sabotage and reconnaissance, but have been used as part of frontline infantry formations during the invasion of Ukraine. Documents in the Pentagon leaks showed. Ukraine's top general Valery Zaluzhny wrote in a recent essay for The Economist that the conflict had shifted from maneuver warfare to positional warfare of static and attritional fighting, as in the First World War. Russia lost an estimated 1 in 100 soldiers, as well as dozens of pieces of artillery and vehicles, in a single day of fighting according to a Sunday update by the Ukrainian military. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine claimed Russia has now lost 311,750 soldiers since it launched a full-scale invasion of the country in February 2022. That figure includes the 1,100 soldiers in its November 12th update. Kiev said Russia passed the grim milestone of 300,000 deaths on October 31st, when it reached 300,810 losses. According to the General Staff, Russia also lost 32 artillery systems, 32 armored personnel vehicles, and 7 tanks. British defense officials said Russia had suffered an estimated 190,000 casualties, including ones killed and permanently injured. Its figures did not include the thousands of Wagner Group mercenaries who died during the battle for Bakhmut. Russia does not regularly comment on its own personnel casualty figures. When it has, it has been criticized by experts for not being accurate. Russia has recently focused its efforts on the eastern Ukrainian town of Avdivka, just north of Donetsk, following a surprise offensive against the town in October. A November 11th campaign bulletin by the Institute for the Study of War (ISW), a Washington, D.C.-based think tank, said Russia had launched a large-scale missile and drone strike on Kyiv, the first major attack on the Ukrainian capital in 52 days. Ukrainian military sources reported on November 11th that Russian forces launched 31 Shahed, 131 Hachin-136 drones, two KH-59 missiles, one KH-31 missile, one P-800 Onyx anti-ship missile, and an S-300 missile against various targets in Ukraine, and specifically targeted Kyiv Oblast with either an Iskander-M or an S-400 missile, the ISW report said. Ukrainian air defenses downed 19 Shahids, 
primarily targeting frontline areas, one KH-59 missile, and used a Patriot air defense system to destroy the ballistic missile targeting Kyiv Oblast. The ISW also reported that Russian military bloggers had discussed whether infantry-led frontal assaults contribute to the positional warfare that Ukrainian Commander-in-Chief General Valery Zeluzhny said both sides find themselves in. Zeluzhny previously told The Economist there was parity between Russia and Ukraine months into Kyiv's counteroffensive. We have reached the level of technology that puts us into a stalemate, he said. He also reported that Ukrainian troops had been stuck in minefields placed on the approach to Bakhmut in the Donetsk Oblast. Не во выстрел! 